Welcome back to Pisces TV with Montana B. Look at why is the ego, child? Let's talk about this. This is love. Okay. There we go. Here we, here we are. Gonna get into your love lives. And this is you or your person. Crosswalkers are welcome to everybody. Get in, take a seat. All right. If you are new to the channel, check the description box. A lot of information there. For all of my returners, I appreciate your continued support. And we have communication. Okay. Because something is being left unsaid. All right. So, let's go ahead and get started. A lot of things happening. Be um, on the lookout for our New Year's Eve lunch party. If you hadn't subscribed, that's a plus, right? So, you get that notification and you're with us. Hanging out with the collective. Um, if you're interested in booking your own personal reading to see, you know, where you actually fit with this and how you can communicate your love language better, I do have availability. So look in the description box, booking through my store, or contact me directly. Whatever works for you. We're going to go ahead and get started with this reading using the Price of Love Oracle. And again, I appreciate you guys spending time with me. If it resonates, Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If it doesn't resonate, keep in mind that tarot is entertainment and it may not resonate with everyone or each card. We also have three deacons of Pisces, so let's talk about it. The number 17, the ego can protect and sabotage simultaneously. So we want to watch out for that. Protection, overcompensation, pride, shadow side, lack, fear, fear-based decisions, heart chakra blockage, ideas about yourself, beliefs, void, self-sabotage, worries, and perception of others. Could also do some shadow work. And I do have a video about shadow work in the playlist, so look that up if you're interested. A figure's shadow is distorted to look larger than life. The person is facing their shadow and seeing how at times the shadow can, compare, uh, can appear in control. So the shadow is symbolic of the shadow side of our personality that each of us have. The things we cannot see about ourselves. Okay, so it's important to understand this side of ourselves versus acting like it doesn't exist. Now, if you're getting some feedback, you know, or just something about your communication, your love language with your partner, or just to the universe and what you're attracting, your situation, however it fits. All right. The shadow also symbolizes being scared of your own shadow and living life in a very protective way. So the shadow in this card is all about addressing, learning from, and working with our shadow energy. Now we get into why is that with the second card, number 40. And this card talks about love with the rose quartz and the heart emblem, the color green for the heart chakra. So when we talked about blocks and Stuff like that. Maybe somebody got you blocked, honey, or somebody blocking, cock blocking. I don't know. Uh, but love is a gift from the divine. So this is love, love, platonic love, not just relationship, intimacy, love. This is love for love, right? It talks about pure intentions, deep affection, pleasure, a divine energy, the truth, being genuine transcending or transcend understanding tap into the heart space work with the rose quartz for some of you accept a person or a situation as they are and that did come up in the daily vibe positive growth the true self which also came up in the daily vibe so check that out uh pay attention to signs of love so hearts warm feelings etc and express your love a person is shown wearing their symbol of love of, on full display in the front of the jury with a heart and rose court pennants necklace. Why did I always think it said pendant? But so there's a pennants necklace too, right? Um, the heart necklace is pretty self-explanatory and can be seen as a sign of paying attention to when and where you see hearts. I love that. This necklace is also sitting at the uh, throat chakra, which can be an indication of expressing your love to others or vice versa. 
So, you know, we came in strong with the shadow energy, but there could be some expressions of love as well. The rose card necklace embodies the energy of rose quartz, which is a high vibration, love, compassion, and healing. And then the shirt, we have the green that represents the heart chakra. So notice as we talked about vibration, the next card here is communication. And it looks like a frequency. See? Communication. The number is 33. And let's see why. Because this is the advice or possible outcome. So there could be some communication. And if this is advice, it says communication is key. Someone wants to communicate. There is a need to express how you feel. Communication will bring clarity. You will be receiving a message. Okay. Speak up. Activate the throat chakra. So look at that. Still an energy of the throat chakra. Messages through dreams. Reach out to the one on your mind. And important discussions. The illustration of the voice sound wave on this card represents the many frequencies of communication. It can be seen, heard, and felt. Communication isn't just limited to a call or a text. This can be communication through telepathic messages, dreams, symbols, feelings, etc. Trust and be open to all forms of communication and expression. Now, I'm laughing only because I go back and forth with the whole angel thing, right? I do believe in science and the metaphysics of the unexplained. Ascended masters, you know, energy that reincarnates and evolves and becomes and I believe in the soul and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I just was tickled and giggled because sometimes the oracle cards aren't verbatim what needs to be translated. And when we got that protective energy here and then we have this, you know, noticing the hearts, the dreams um, and communication here. And then with this air energy, I don't know why, but I thought about Archangel Michael, who is... <laughs> And then I got this blue heart on y'all. So everybody look at it. Okay. To get some good karma uh, in your love life. But I thought about a very protective energy. And it said traditionally that Archangel Michael is like sweet on the ladies. So whatever. No disrespect fellas. Because you know some of y'all might like Archangel Michael too. I don't know. But um, I heard through a bird. That Archangel Michael is really sweet on the ladies. And so the heart, you know, the protection, the air energy, the symbols, the hey, pay attention. You're not alone type of thing. Because the shadow is like, you know, it's just it's me and my shadow. Somebody could be going through that. But I absolutely love that. And we do have the lovers here. We have spirit. We have reconciliations. We have the duality. Um... And a unity of some sort. Because look, cause they kind of like holding hands or touching fingertips, you know. And they're in this fear, this protective bubble um, with spirit. I don't know what spirit it is. Because people always say spirit. So is there just like this one master spirit? And like every other spirit is like regular spirit? You know, how does that work? I don't know. I try not to be condescending, but I have a lot of Gemini in my chart. Um... Uh, for some of you that haven't, you know, found your person yet or you wonder, we've been talking about these two of wands for a month or so, right? So that's coming up. With this Ace of Pentacles, could talk about a commitment, could talk about lessons learned together, could talk about being guided to this big old opportunity, right? I do like that. And so the energy of the ego or the shadow Feeling stuck in situations, trying to hang in there. Uh, we had this come up in the daily vibe. So that is Leo. That is very dominant. That's the masculine side. Maybe our masculine sides, you know, need to be rediscovered or talked to or finessed. I don't know. Here we have the world card where it talks about cycles, completions, um, all kind of things. And look at this. This is my queen of wands, I think, sitting on here. Because, you know, in the two of wands, which we just saw. The two wands usually um, in the card has the world, you know, and someone's holding the globe, seeing the world as your oyster and taking a new approach. So some of you that could be taking a different approach on how you speak or I don't know how you act, how you sit, how you dress. I don't know. That has nothing to do with 
the tradition, but it's just my interpretation, which you guys have told me is just fine to go with. I think I might be on to something because to me, like I said, if that's the Queen of Wands energy and here's the King of Wands energy and we just saw the lovers, here's that duality for you, this advice for all of my alphas and um, empaths, you know, may need to be a balance in that uh, for your partnerships, you know. Maybe you want to attract somebody that ain't into soft, clingy empaths. And, you know, you need to some of that fire, right? And others of us can be very dominant <laughs> and very sure of ourselves. Or putting it on too thick with that ego. And there could be some adjustments made there. Um, but I do like it. And then as I go through the line of the cards, here we have the Ace of Swords. So bringing us back to this protection, okay, in your... your on your path or in your relationships we have this ace of swords well you got two aces okay so fire and air that makes sense look at the see i ain't making this up whatever it means fire and air is very aggressive okay you need air for fire to breathe or to live to grow to you know because fire you can't have fire if ain't no air um and then when it comes to air, this fire doesn't, fire burn everything but air. So it's like untouchable and, you know, and protected. So I like it. I don't know why I like it, but it's so synchronistic. It makes sense. Um, and then when I said adjustments and balance, apologies, taking action, moving forward, being distant, somebody kind of too tough and closed off or whatever, a bunch of messages, um, could be communicated so if you're communicating with your person this is about being authentic you know not putting it on too heavy not laying it on too light to be true to self but i like the newness of it because aces usually represent an alliance or some type of new beginning um and i feel like you could be meeting people that you've reconnected with multiple lifetimes and not in a karmic sense either some of you are releasing yourselves from the karmic. Because when I said that, there's the nine of pentacles. So freeing yourself um, from the past. And look at that. Here is the, the eight of wands again moving into the future. So beautiful cards, beautiful energy to see where this fits to you personally. We are going to do your pick a card. So pick a card or a number one, two or three. Okay, let me scoop these up for you. All of my members, it's like, oh my gosh, she did the whole thing and did the pick a card. Don't worry. You guys have bonus readings. All right. So this needed to be said. We want, I want love and communication um, for all of you. Okay. So yeah, my members get bonus readings. This all kind of stuff go on over there. So still, you can join us on the other side and get spoiled too. Okay. Some extra advice if you single and it's like, how do I, how do it? We can talk about it. Now, these things are coming up um, soon, okay? Because the house card does talk about some type of communication, a sit-down of some sort. Um, I do like that. It may be between some lovers. I ain't mad at that because this is a love reading. Group one, you got adjudication, okay? So, that's like a mediator. Maybe you need to talk to somebody else about it. Or maybe there's... You know, someone who can give you some advice. Okay. Group two, you got despair. So it's kind of like soapbox energy. I don't know what that's about. And then here we have occupation. So it's kind of like we working on it. You know, we working on it. And that's what I have. I do hope that it helps. Until next time, guys. Namaste.